Friday night, August the 22nd, championship wrestling returning to the fair city of Albany. That's indeed this Friday night at the Washington Avenue Armory. And scheduled to be on hand, the Blackjacks. The most powerful tag team combination in the world today. Mulligan and Lanza, both up around the 300-pound mark. They'll be accompanied this Friday night by the manager, the captain, Louis Albano. However, they're going to be facing an extraordinary tag team combination in their own right. One put together for the very first time, that of Tony Garea, former co-holder of the tag team championship, and his tag team partner, the one and only seven feet five inches and 450 pounds of a one-man gang known as Andre the Giant. Andre against the larger Black Jacks is going to be an extraordinary match. There's no doubt about that. Accompany that with the speed, agility of Tony Garea, that spells one thing, excitement this Friday night. But right now, let's bring on the Black Jacks and also the captain, Albano. You've got to understand, McMahon, that this big freak of nature, this uh, Andre the Giant and this Tony Garea, are up against a seasoned tag team, the Perhaps they are the world tag team champions. I recognize them as that, and I am sure the fans out there realize this, and they also recognize them as that, realizing their great ability and their great contribution to wrestling, what they have done, the way they have elevated the wrestling profession, and the way they conduct themselves in the ring with the captain and as gentlemen themselves, and realizing their great individual wrestling abilities and their ability as a team. As you know, I'd like to point out, possibly you don't know this, that Jack Mulligan... I had said this before, was Olympic champ in Melbourne. He defeated Ofte Hoffnekel in 14 minutes and 27 seconds in 1971. Right. And Black Jack Lander was right. two times Olympic champion, defeating Hafte Puffnegel and defeating Osco in Vendleton. This was done in 14 minutes and 27 seconds with a suplex and nine minutes and seven seconds with a figure four leg lock and a double suplex chicken wing. Do you understand what I'm talking about? What does that have to do with the match this Friday night? Well, that has to do with it. You're talking about a team. You're talking about a combination. You're talking about men that work together, men that train together. You're talking about the captain behind them, the guiding light who has his men out in the morning at 7 daily, running some 17 or 18 miles daily. You're talking about a 307-pound giant. You're talking talking about a 287 pound piece of dynamite. You're talking about poetry in motion, Daddy. You're talking about the best. You're talking about the champions. And they're up against a baby-faced punk that's just fresh out of school. I mean, a young kid. He was picked rookie of the year a year or two ago. The boy is not at his best yet. The boy is learning. And he's in with a freak of nature, a man that does not have wrestling ability, that is merely a circus side freak with strength. Yes, I'll grant you. Does know some wrestling. I should say I said no wrestling ability. I will correct myself. The man was in Europe, a, a fair wrestler in his own right. I don't. He do what is it? Not to interrupt you, but uh, undoubtedly this tag team combination of the Blackjacks, they have extraordinary power and extraordinary ability they in the ring. They have power and they possibly have some ability, However, but they have not worked together as a team. Therefore, without unity, you cannot have strength. And they do not have strength because a house without strength will not stand. It will fall. Is there Listen, any truth let me tell you something, man. Hailing this much beef is nothing new to Lanza and myself. Down at the ranch in Texas, we're accustomed to taking a 1,200, 1,500-pound bull, taking him down, Take down, and putting a brand on him. Brand him. Do you think a 450-pound moron... No way. And there's definitely going to be a communication problem. How do you talk to an idiot 450 pounds, 7 foot 5 tall? 7'5". They don't even know what each other's going to be doing. That's right. We're going to have a problem with them. You're going to get a good beaten Texas-style giant... We may even put the big BJ brand right on your bottom side. That's right, baby. No, go ahead, Jack. Tell him, Jackie. The people of Albany have taken us into their hearts. Every time we appear before them, the clapping is sickening, deafening. Now, when we fly into the airport, don't come and try to carry us off on your shoulders. Don't try to ask for autographs. We know we're champions. We know we're well-liked. The only problem is getting the people in there to see us demolish Andre and All Gurria. Right, now may I we say this? We know you love us. We know we're your favorite wrestler, so don't keep trying to get our autographs because it's sickening. All right, now may I say this? We're up in the, in the Albany area where you have many French Canadian and French people. As Please. you know, the captain speaks Parisian French fluently, and I would like to say a few words to all our French fans out there that are yeah, coming yeah, to the Albany arena. Je ne te le vois pas, c'est les vous qu'est-ce que vous voulez vous français, mais vous pouvez oui, j'y peux moi la savoir. Que voulez vous français, j'y voulez vous pas ce que oui, pas ça t'es pas. Exactly my <laughs> sentiments, Captain. I feel the same. Yeah. In Albany this Friday night.